So a while back, I made a video on how to make a Spike Prime robot accelerate, but that's when someone emailed me and asked me if I could do a video about making a robot decelerate. And at first I thought it was pointless, but then I realized that if you have a robot accelerating so it doesn't skid when it starts, it's just as important, if not more important, to make it decelerate when it stops so it doesn't skid at the end. So I decided to make a video about this, I guess. The first thing we need to grab is going to be a when program starts block for obvious reasons. Then we're going to need to make a va variable. The variable I made is called motor speed. This is the variable that controls how fast your motors go. If you watched my acceleration video, you should be fairly familiar with this. The twist here though is that we're going to have to set the zero value to whatever your robot's speed that it's going before you want it to start decelerating is. So if your robot is going 50 and you want it to decelerate to zero, you're going to put in 50. I um, prefer putting in 75 because then it starts faster and it's got a longer deceleration phase just for videoing. Of course, you can use whatever you want. Then we're going to need to go to motors and set our motors speed to the, the whatever motor speed is. We're going to need... To, my, my robot's motors are C and D. You will obviously put whatever your robot's motors are. Now we're going to need to go to control and choose a repeat block. And in the repeat, in the number of the repeat section, we're going to need to put whatever our motor speed is again. In this case, 75. So now that we've got that, this is going to, this loop will make it repeat 75 times, decreasing the motor speed by one. So we're going to need to plug in a change motor speed by negative one block. This will actually end up going at the very bottom. We'll need to go to control and get a weight 0 0.1 or however much you want seconds. So this 0 0.1 will make it run for like seven and a half seconds, which is around what we want. So now we're going to need to go to motors and get two start motor blocks, one for each of our motors. And we're going to have to reverse one of them. After this, we're going to need to choose or to get a set speed block. We're going to need to do this for C and D. And in the bubble of the set speed block, we will need to plug in the motor speed variable. And as you can see, it slowed down until it stops.